What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Soon talking about Friday the 13th in this video here again today talking about the canceled plans for that 2017 reboot that I was just reminded of when I was uh, thinking of things they could do for the upcoming movie if that is indeed something that's going to be announced later this year again going off of what Roy Lee's already told us and now going off of that Sean S. Cunningham discovery that cameo bio update that we found out and I've seen bloody disgusting update update and put articles out there so I'm, I'm glad that this little nugget that again I first saw this from Craven something scary I'm glad that that little nugget blew up to the point where even outlets like bloody disgusting and other article outlets were picking up on it and reporting on it so just to jump into these canceled reboot plans because i've been going on about introducing jason's father for the longest time i was reminded while thinking about the future of the franchise that the movie or a movie itself was almost coming out in 2017 we were supposed to get a movie in 2017 it was supposed to shoot around march and then release later that same year it was going to be a script by aaron Gru aaron guskowski and it was going to be directed by i believe david bruckner i might be mistaken i think david bruckner actually dropped out of the project though and then he was replaced by another person but um this film more more or less was going to be like a gigantic family reunion that introduced Elias Voorhees you were finally going to get Elias Voorhees and it was going to allow all three of them Pamela Jason Elias allow them time in the movie to shine as a killer or they were all going to at some point end up being killers in this one reboot movie so this was set at Crystal Lake and how they introduced Elias going off of Kruskowski's script that's out there for you to read actually Elias would have been introduced as Jason's father and now he was a mass I'm assuming he was masked similar to how Jason had a bag over his head in the in the uh, Friday the 13th Part 2 movie that we got. The script never went into his actual motivations, but he was he was established as a killer and he was a park ranger that was just going around killing people. I believe he got around a couple of kills before he ultimately was killed by Pamela Voorhees, who then at this stage is already pretty distraught over Jason Voorhees and the the thought of the fact that she thinks her son is dead and we know that bleeds into what happened prior to the events of the 1980 movie so we were going to see that that was going to play out and then we were going to end up seeing jason of course be revealed to be alive and then going up taking the mantle from his mother as being the next vor he's in the mix in this one movie that ends up doing some killing after his mother dies I like the idea of what this script had to go off of. I do like how they finally introduced Elias, but I don't like the fact that he was killed by Pamela Midway. Now again, of course, it could have been executed on screen very well. And it's unfortunate because I think this reboot actually got canned once Rings, which I guess you can call that the Ring 3. Rings did so bad that Paramount lost hope in this upcoming reboot for friday the 13th and i'm like this movie was that bad that it literally deteriorated into or it impacted a, a friday the 13th reboot that's that's insane like they had no confidence in putting out a slasher movie all because of the critical failure and financial failure of rings so that movie got canned the project was scrapped and there was actually at one point a casting call that gave a description for Elias Voorhees for the upcoming project and again it just never came to fruition Elias Voorhees again that's a character I think they need to finally introduce if you're not going to have any remnants or anything similar from this scrap reboot idea other than Elias I'll be fine with that because Elias has has been pinned to star or appear in another entry as well the sixth movie Jason Lives did some digging on that he was supposed to be at the very end in like an alternate ending visiting the empty grave that belonged to jason Voorhees. uh i think he was going to be paying off martin who i think was the uh the person who overlooked the, or oversaw the the cemetery i i don't i don't remember what you call those people but um he was seen paying off this dude and then he would look off into the distance almost to kind of allude to the fact that he's aware that this grave is empty he knows that his son Jason is out there. And I think what they were trying to go into was that that Elias was always someone who thought that there was evil within Jason and that Elias was going to be the next person in line, I guess, going into a future movie. 
to try to take Jason down. But then that got cut because apparently the producers didn't want to take on any responsibility going into the next movie. So and some of the some of that last bit that I just said might not be the correct truth. But the fact that we almost got Elias once again, and this was not too long ago in a 2017 reboot, and it got canned all because of Paramount lost hope in that of uh, in the slasher reboot that they had planned or any slasher films especially that one because of the financial and critical failure of the ring three of rings and then of course that ended up branching out into us getting a game along the way that same year but then this lawsuit battle started up between victor miller and sean s cunningham and it just heated up for many years to come until finally now we know that something has been settled and it seems that we're going in the direction of getting a new movie next year and i'm assuming this again will be a target date for october friday the 13th next year because there's a friday the 13th that falls in october 2023 and i hope this movie finally does a good job or does does the right thing by introducing elias Voorhees, diving into him learning who he is how he impacted jason and learning something more about this family dynamic and then like letting that be a, a section of the movie before diving into whatever's going on with the now grown-up jason and his attack on crystal lake giving jason a sympathetic story again i know some of you might be against that jason already has had glimpses of being given a sympathetic story though so as far as like diving into it a little bit deeper i see nothing wrong there as long as you balance that out with still establishing that the characters that he's about to terrorize at crystal lake are likable decent and well-rounded individuals because there is a problem in the rob zombie halloween remake where michael is given like this sympathetic background in a way seeing this rough upbringing he has but then the people around him they're all trash so like you don't really feel bad for those people and at the same time you don't really feel bad for michael once he's an adult so i hope hope they keep a balance if they go that sympathetic route in the reboot and hopefully finally they introduce elias but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video